Hi all, in this video, let's discuss about uh, how map function works and how to write our own map and filter function. So let's take an array. So let me explain first how the default map functionality works. I mean, built-in map works, how it works exactly. So we can apply the map function to the arrays. So I'm applying that array.map. This is a built-in function, which takes three parameters. So number one would be the current item. So the names can be anything. So just for the reference sake, I'm keeping this. So in this first parameter, we'll be having the current item. In the index, this is the second parameter, we can have the index. And in the third parameter, we'll be having the reference of the array. So these are the parameters. So now we can write a function here. I mean, uh, this is a function in this logic. In this function we can write anything i mean whatever the requirement we have we can write this function will be executed for each and every item in the array so now i will be taking uh, i mean uh, current item and i will uh, multiply i'm uh, making this as a square applying square to the each and every element in the array so map will return a new array it will not modify the existing array so that's the reason i am creating a new variable which should hold the value i mean uh, it will uh, it will take this array it will uh, apply this logic to each and every item in the array it will return the new array which consists of squares of these numbers so let's check that so this is all about the inbuilt functionality how how the inbuilt map works in javascript so let's see that so fine okay i think something variable name is mismatched okay so now let's see so we got all the squares now we need to write our own map function so this is how the map function works so let's write our own map function i will comment this i will write our, our own map function so I'll write a function map. So just I will take empty function for now. So now I will write a fun map function. So here, if you see map function worked on an array, it needs an array reference and a function, what to do with the elements in that array. So it means the, a map will be expecting two things, array reference and what is the function to be executed on the items. So for that, I'm sending two things array dot here. I need to send a function where this this will be receiving the current item index same as above. So we are trying to replicate this function. So I will write the current item into two square of the elements. So this is what I wrote. So as we discussed, the map function will not modify the original function. It will return the new array. So for that, we need to create a new array. Before that, we are passing two parameters here. It needs to hold those two parameters, array and map function. So here the map function is the reference of this function, entire this function. This is the reference of this entire function. So let's take here now we'll take a map array this is a new array so it should be empty at the first so at the end we're going to return this array because uh, map will return not modify the original uh, array it will return the new array so we are taking an empty array here and now we are going to loop each and every item we need to loop each and every item and need to apply the function Okay, so I'm uh, trying to loop this array and here I need to here I need to call I'm going to call this map function. So on each and every element for the loop, I need to call the map element and I need to pass the current item. So if I say array of I, I would be passing the current item I, if I pass I, it is a current index. And if I pass array, this is a reference. 
reference of the array. So now we have an empty array to store the values, I mean the result values. And now we are iterating through each and every element of an array where we are passing each element, I mean the current element, its index and references to this function. So the function which we wrote. So this is the same we have done here. We have used a map, the built-in function on the array which we have provided and we are writing our own function. So that's the function we wrote here. So now we are calling, this is a map function means this is a reference to this function. We are calling this function by passing these three parameters and it will return this value. This value would be stored in the result for each element. So now we are, we are going to store, I mean, we are going to push this result into the array. And by the end, we need to return the new array. So that's, and now we'll, we are, we'll be returning this new array. Here, we need to catch that new array. So here I will be writing a square. Now it will be taken the new returned value, returned array, new array. So we can print that number and check whether we got a same result or not. Yep. So we got the same result, the square of the numbers. So here, hope you understand the logic. We need, we have taken the reference of an array and map function. So this is how the same, the built-in function also worked. It has taken the reference of an array and a function to be executed on all each and every item. So here also we have taken an empty array to return the new array, not to modify the original array. And here we are returning that array. Here we are pushing the each and every element once uh, the element was called to this function, it is iterating and it is doing this job. This is the function we wrote to work on each and every item. So the same, this is our own map function. So this is how we need to write our own map functions. So also I will show you how to write the similar function to the filter. So this is also same to write the filter function. So let's check, uh, we'll return back only the even numbers. So if that is the case, uh, I will be modifying, I will uh, comment this. I will copy, I will comment this. So just, I will uh, replace the map instead of map. I'm uh, going to keep this as a filter. So I will uh, keep this filter function. So filter also works in the same way as a map, but it will keep some condition here. So now it is uh, going to return the square of each numbers. Now we are not going to return the square. We'll return only the numbers. I mean the even numbers. So now we are going to return only the even numbers. How we are going to check here, each and every element here, it will return true or false. If it returns true, then it means the condition got true. So then only you push the items into the array, into the new array. So same logic as a map, but the extra condition we are going to write to check if it meets the condition, then only we are going to push the array. Yep, let's check that. So now we got true, true. It means we, it is just returning the result. Instead that we need to save the item, current item. So now check this. So we will be getting two and four. Earlier we got only true, true because it, it returns the Boolean value. As it is true, we have stored result so we got true true. Now, this is how we are going to write our own filter function. So hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching.